Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, we are not cooking today, man. And you know Christmas is right around the corner. And uh, you only got about two or three shopping days, at least when this video comes out, before Christmas hits, okay? So if you are looking for something, one of those last-minute gifts or a last-minute idea or a little few stocking stuffers for that pit master, that smoke master, that, uh, that barbecue maniac in your life, then here we're going to look at a few things right here, okay? Uh, none of this stuff is sponsored. These are a few things that I was uh, either received or have been walking through Walmart, Target, one of these stores out here, and I thought these were some cool little ideas uh, that didn't cost a whole lot of money that you can slide in your in your pitmaster stocking or slide under the tree and something that they would really appreciate and use, okay? So the first thing we're going to look at uh, is we're going to look at this little gym right here. Now this is called a, uh, a, a basting sprayer. And what's so cool about that, and I thought that was pretty cool, it, it only costs $2, okay? And, uh, but what you do is you can take it and you can put it on top of a bottle of beer or on top of a bottle of soda and you, you put the tube down in there and it fits tight around the top of the uh, bottle and then you can spray your meats and uh, things while you're marinating, great for when you're doing uh, brisket or chicken and you want to spray beer or uh, if you want to spray soda or anything like that, anything in a bottle, you can spray. So I thought that was pretty cool for $2, you can't go wrong with that, okay? Uh, the next thing I saw was this little gym here. This uh, one right here is a mold for a hamburger dog, okay? So you can take your ground meat, ground veal or whatever, you can uh, put it down into the mold and shape it in the shape of uh, hot dogs to go inside of hot dog buns. So that's pretty cool because if you think about it, you can almost do a stuffed hot dog, uh, put the ground meat at the bottom, then put something in the middle and then put a little more ground meat on top and you'll have a stuffed hot dog, okay? That was only $1.50. So I thought that was a little cool idea to stick in somebody's stocking, okay? This right here, uh, I know you guys have seen these. Now, these are the wood cedar planks that people use to do salmon and things of that nature. We did some uh, pork chops on one of these hickory planks right here. Uh, you can get these packs for uh, of normal hickory planks anywhere from $3 all the way up to $10, depending on the brand and the type and stuff. So, you know, check out uh, you know, Wally World, Target, those places. They have these things uh, for relatively cheap. And the one thing about it being wintertime right now is a lot of these barbecue accessories are always on sale. As soon as spring hit, they're going to jack the price back up because they know everybody's going to be looking for it, okay? This little joker here, these are cheese grilling planks. So they operate just like the planks that you cook salmon on, only you can use these bad boys to invoke some smoke flavor in some cheese. And there's even a recipe on this particular one to make brie, okay? And the, and this was only $3 right here for a pack of two. So I, I, these are cool. We haven't used them yet. I can't wait to use these. Uh, first time we had brie was uh, about a year ago when we went to somebody's going away and uh, folks was killing the brie. So uh, I'm gonna try to make my own. So these little grilled cheese plank, grilling cheese planks should come in very, very handy, okay? Another thing is, you know, we all have those old metal scraping brushes and uh, when you use those to clean the grill, sometimes the little uh, metal shards can come off. They can get caught up in the food uh, if they lay on the grill. And a lot of people have been going to the hospital and things of that nature from having those little metal shards in their system or caught in their throat and stuff. So a lot of companies are coming up with some new ideas. I know you can use onions and all that kind of stuff to clean your grill. But this little joker here, these here were pretty cool. Oh man, look, I'm knocking over some of the stuff. Excuse me, okay? That, that, that'll be a blooper on the video, okay? But this one right here, okay? And this one right here, these are both wooden safe scraping tools. Now, as you can see, the bottom of these bad boys aren't formed at all. So what you do is as you use them on the hot grate, it forms to your grate, which means that there's no one set size. It just molds to what you require. Uh, this one, particular one right here, which is made by uh, Expert Grill, this one here was only uh, $9, okay? This one right here, the large paddle on the bottom here, and I'll show you another picture of it on the screen. This one here was $20, but this comes in a variety of different shapes and handles and things, and it's a little bit more durable uh, and thicker than this one here. So while this only costs about $10, I assume that the $20 one will last a little bit longer because it's made uh, out of a little bit more durable or thicker wood, okay? All right, so 
like I said, a lot of uh, stores sell a lot of have a lot of barbecue accessories on sale during the winter time because they don't anticipate people barbecuing a lot. And this bad boy here, <laughs> unbelievable. We was walking through uh, Bed Bath and Beyond, and they had these bad boys on sale for ten dollars. Now these barbecue dragons, as you know, you click them to the side of your Weber grill, and it shoots a blast of air onto your coals, and it blazes them up. So it's real good if you want a quick start to your coals. Uh, for doing steaks and grilling and the, those type of uh, events, okay? This online normally sells for about $40 to $50, okay? And so it was so cool that I walked through and they had these on sale for $10. I had to pick up one. Matter of fact, I picked up the last one that they had. So, hey, if you shop around, uh, if you're lucky enough, maybe you can find this bad boy for under $20. And this makes a great gift for any griller, okay? They would love this. Because it takes a little while to start your charcoals up. And this bad boy puts a blast of air on it. That make, really makes it blaze up. All right. Also, any pit master or smoker or anybody who grills and things like this would love to have different type of racks. Okay. So, you know, we have rib racks here. And uh, now this is a Weber rib rack. And this Weber rib rack here uh, ran roughly about $12. And this was pretty cool. Uh, you can put several racks of ribs on this. For uh, those smokers that don't have a lot of room, you can vertically stand these up. So they would love this. Also, we have a fish basket. Now this fish basket here ran about uh, thirteen dollars. Uh, this was this was pretty nice too. And uh, you know, fish is very delicate, so just throwing it directly on the grill and then just trying to pick it up and flip it could cause you some problems. So that's why a lot of people use these planks. But uh, with the basket here, you can just flip the entire basket. And then you won't, your fish won't fall apart through the grill. All right. Also, uh, baskets. Uh, we can't, you can't have too many baskets when you're grilling for vegetables and all type of sides and shrimp and things of that nature. So uh, I have this this Weber basket here, and we also have a basket from. Oh, I'm sorry, reaching the wrong way. We also have a basket from uh, Rhino. Now my wife bought me uh, these two here, and these was great. Uh, these were on sale. These roughly range in between uh, $10 and $18, depending on which one you go to purchase. What's nice about the Rhino one here is it comes with a handle already, okay? And uh, and actually, this is uh, two baskets in one, so that's that's a great deal. So uh, check those out. Uh, run around Wally World or Target or uh, wherever, uh, Kmart, if they still have one in your area, you're bound to find some of these things uh, on sale for that pit master in your life. Another great uh, gift, if they don't have an abundance of them already, are any type of uh, smoking chips, uh, different flavors like hickory, mesquite, uh, alder for fish, and things of that nature. Uh, bags of chips range anywhere from $2.50 up to $20 a bag, depending on what brand you might buy and things of that nature. And what I'll do is, some of the stuff that I have on here, I'll put links in the description block. Uh, it's a little too late to go ahead and order them online, but I'm sure you can find a lot of these things in the stores uh, two or three days before Christmas, okay? So uh, that's all I have today. I just wanted to show y'all a few little uh, quick tidbits, a few stocking stuffers that you can, uh, for you folks who don't know what to buy the, uh, the uh, barbecue or in your life, uh, a lot of these things, where well, you might look at them and not, under, not understand, believe me, individuals who smoke and cook and barbecue as much as I, I do and, and the rest of the fellas do would love any and all of these gifts. And like I said, most of these gifts are under $20, all right? So, well, hey, that's all I have time for tonight. I got to go ahead and get myself some libation, a little drink, a little Crown Royal. So until then... Like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Hey, have a Merry Christmas, everybody. And if I don't see you anytime soon, hope to see you around the smoker. Peace.